Hello, Buzzgirls! Welcome back to Beltless Factory, where last episode we uh, tried to fix some more things. Uh, not that everything is fixed by this point, but if we look at the map, we can see uh, mostly good flow uh, there. Uh, we have a lot of trains waiting, loading. We put in a new plant down here and I was actually thinking that we might uh, unhook this one uh, so that uh, new stuff only comes from there and eventually um, we might also be able to uh, remove this one then we could make this a uh, larger part as well. However, today I think we want to go into the direction of uranium. Because eventually I am hoping we can have a nuclear reactor. Um, however, from my perspective, this only makes sense once we have Covex enrichment. Uh, but we need to start somewhere, anywhere. And for all these uh, machines, we need a bit of uh, concrete. We do not need uh, huge amounts. Uh, because we don't need that many centrifuges or uh, nuclear reactors, uh, but we need some. And then we probably also want to start with uh, creating the uh, other components. Um, we do not do that in uh, the fashion like setting up factories, but more like uh, in this fashion over here so for the uh, for the concrete I am thinking I just pull water over to here and then have ourselves a Factory and assembler that creates concrete. Um, we have ourselves a miner. Uh, maybe large power pole there. And then we just have a chest with stone bricks Ooh. mind off um, there we have it and the concrete will probably take a while um, but while we are at it, we can add a few more um, factories here um, for um, this one. And there. and output good then we need pipes steel and uh, more copper um, 
let's make it a large power pole. And here we need one stick. Here we need probably two stacks. And then these ones, probably once we have that, we uh, replace this recipe here. So let's grab a bit of uh, copper, put it in here. Let's grab a bit of steel, put it also in there. And then we can also see Half in here, the other half there. Um, we said we will do those afterwards. Again, we have this one here. where we, we will go for four reactors. Here we also need quite a bit of steel and uh, copper, as well as uh, uh, red circuits, 500. So that will all come in time. And while this machines are doing their thing we can see down here I think we can extend this one to the side uh, one more and then grab uranium from there and yeah let me let me put that rail in place first probably need a few more pieces in order to manage that um, and uh, then we can have a discussion about how we go about with the uh, uranium um, mining and uh, processing the rails are lead and uh, uh, things that we need for our factory is being worked on so now let's actually think about how we get this off of here um, we will need the same setup here as we have for uh, all the miners um, we need probably a bit of um, pipe going on there and then have oh yeah probably we should also add the miners and then we can just copy this part And I think we need a gap of uh, one. And here um, we will fill the complete field. So it does work out and Ok, 
then we can basically copy this column here have it there and there and then we shall have everything going together and probably I need a few more miners a few more chests a few more everything let's bring it together here um, we'll make this a steel chest and probably we need to have that here as well and here and there um and right there at the top We need to connect these two columns and if I move that one up and this one over that one will also connect and then we will pipe the sulfuric acid all the way from the top to down here because I just don't like feel like putting it into uh, onto trains so I will do that uh, grab a few more stuff to uh, complete this and hopefully at that time the other things are also finished hopefully we have all that we need here in this chest i mean for the first part we will mainly need the centrifuges but other than that uh, we should have uh, most of the materials we will need probably uh, a few more pipes uh, tanks might also be good um, but let's start with copying this line and we will here use a bit of these then on one side we will have the centrifuges which I purposefully I don't have on me because why would I so in here and out there so that means basically copy this again and then have this like that that works right so let's copy that and one more time oh, that will be the last one then here we need two 
filters because one we want to have this the dark green and one should be hell green light green because after that we then will have uh, the cover uh, refinement and that will actually be interesting uh, how we will set that up with uh, without belts so let's actually connect this up everything should be powered almost everything up there we seem to have ah uh, yeah these in searchers we don't actually need them but we can see the centrifuges are filled it might take a while um, for the things to to go through here maybe here we want to have a bit of uh, stack inserters and once they are uh, in the process it takes a while uh, until they have an output and I am thinking uh, uranium we will mainly need for the fuel cells of our nuclear reactor the other uses are for uh, ammunition uh, a nuclear bomb and so on um, which I think we do not actually need so basically the whole uranium processing will be here and maybe even the nuclear plant um, if we can uh, fit it in uh, I do have I think yeah yeah, it's, it's not not that big uh, we will design it um, from from scratch uh, but I think we should be able to to manage to squeeze it in here on the side because the processing the coverx enrichment that does not take that uh, much space and we could even move that further over here and then have the cover X enrichment on the side but that's it for today hope you enjoyed it and uh, also tune in next time when hopefully we make some more progress until then goodbye